I thank the deputations for coming this afternoon, and I think uh, what uh, they uh, talked about was their genuine feelings. Perhaps we may not be able to come up with a solution this afternoon, but it is important for uh, the secretary and the PS and uh, their team to understand the feelings of the public. At least they have raised a number of uh, issues that have to be addressed this afternoon. I have the strong I have a strong feeling that when it comes to whole day education and the amount of schoolwork, well, uh, we first uh, proposed a whole day education in 1997. It's been 20 years, and I think uh, the um, that there's been uh, some a change uh, in the whole thing. Perhaps it is not by coincidence. Perhaps there are structural causes to uh, this change in the nature of whole day education. And I think the Bureau should really face up to these problems. For instance, whole day education has prolonged lesson time or school time, and this is against the objective of being child centered. As we all know, children need time to play, uh, they need physical development, they need uh, development at all fronts, on all fronts. And for our, for other countries, they spend less time in school. For instance, in some uh, countries, they've only got five lessons a day in primary schools so that there is ample time for students to participate in all sorts of activities. In Hong Kong, we have additions. And it's not just by the administration, perhaps by schools, uh, by parents as well, in the form of uh, tutorials. There might be social factors associated. There may not be any way out if we do not uh, find out the uh, reason. We've always asked uh, to reform TSA because uh, this is uh, the uh, critical point. If we do not uh, relax, if we do not uh, do away with TSA, I think many things cannot be changed. Uh, Mr. Ng is here. I hope that we should review our curriculum for uh, lower primary uh, grades with due regard to characteristics of children so that our curriculum can really be healthy. Otherwise, we're only led by the curriculum. Can you allow me to make one more point? Yes, please do so. Uh, many uh, speakers present are parents, and I think uh, parents uh, can uh, think of um, ways to improve the situation. Mr. Wong asked, uh, Mr. Cody Wong asked, uh, why must all assignments be correct? Uh, many parents nowadays like to complete homework for their children to ensure that they are all accurate. But if it is uh, due to the efforts of parents instead of uh, their children, then uh, teachers may receive the wrong signal and they will continue to uh, make uh, homework very difficult. So we should not ensure that all uh, um, homework is correct. We should uh, show the true picture to, parent, uh, to teachers so that they can adjust uh, um, the curriculum. Mr. Mm. Yes, I, I have heard uh, the comments of uh, all speakers. Uh, this afternoon, I will, will relay these messages to uh, my colleagues. Although uh, Mr. Young, our secretary, is not here, that doesn't mean that he won't know uh, what has been expressed. I thank all deputations for their comments and suggestions. I think I will just respond, respond very briefly. First, to follow on what Mr. Yip Kin Yun said, yes, it is uh, correct 
that parents, as an important stakeholder, has a pivotal role to play in relieving children's stress. When it comes to stress, I think uh, many deputations have expressed uh, their views. Mr. Mkinwa said, well, in the past, so we also had stress. We all have stress. The point is how uh, we deal with it positively and correctly. So how uh, should we deal with it? I think different stakeholders can have uh, different roles to play. Uh, uh, parents, for instance, as mentioned by Mr. Ip, and uh, schools and also uh, the Education Bureau uh, should all do our part in relieving the pressure of students. Uh, please, uh, really, uh, speed up and uh, be concrete in your reply. When it comes to standard school uh, standard hours uh, on uh, homework and also the uh, standard learning hours I don't think it can uh, easily help students uh, to um, further help uh, the uh, outstanding students and to uh, help uh, the um, not so bright students but they are talking about a uh, recommended number of hours to be spent on homework. Well, this is about uh, the uh, progress of individual uh, students. Perhaps uh, we, for some students, they don't need uh, that much homework, and some students need more. We're talking about maximum number of hours. So it's the recommended uh, maximum hours uh, for homework. All right, we'll go back and, and think about it. Yes, uh, we have heard you, so we'll go back and think about it because um, we can't just uh, say yes or no here. So we'll go back and take a look. Also on BCA, well, the Chief Executive uh, already stated uh, in her uh, political platform during the election campaign that she would be taking a fresh look at it, and in due course we'll be announcing what we're going to do, so I'm sure you will know it. And there are some fellow workers uh, from the education sector saying that uh, if they are not um, passing the grade, then they will have to get more tr drilling. No, that's not true because the most important thing is to provide a feedback on students' learning. So I think it's um, um, in line with uh, what you just said, uh, is that we share the same uh, objective. But what if uh, schools do not follow your guidelines? What can you do? So is there any role to be played by the Education Bureau? So uh, let's say there should be 100 minutes uh, rest time, but then uh, most schools are not following that. Then what are you going to do? Well, we do have a monitoring mechanism in place. For instance, our district education officers uh, would visit the schools on a regular basis and there would also be a um, uh, school inspection. So through such mechanisms, uh, we would go to the schools to understand what is happening on the ground. For example, how their timetable operates, and if we uh, encounter such situations warranting follow-up action, we will do it. So what about our parents? Can they file complaints? Well, th there are two levels to consider this issue. As I said, uh, parents uh, should communicate and uh, cooperate with schools. That's the first uh, defense. And um, indeed, if you think that uh, you cannot deal with it uh, through that mechanism, then of course we do have an unshakable responsibility. You can come to our education officers in the district and uh, we will be following up on that. Thank you.